The commander of the Iranian army's ground force says the military unit has acquired the technology for developing various types of rocket launchers and anti-armor weapons to confront potential threats in the future. Brigadier General Kaimers Hidari in an interview with Difa Press on Sunday, also pointed to the use of smart weapons and unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs in the Iranian army's ground force. The ground force has achieved the technology of making all kinds of rocket launchers and anti-armor weapons, and has also taken significant steps in digitalizing all types of artillery Hidari said. Given the threats that exist in the future, the ground force has projected plans to develop smart, network-centric pinpoint accurate and far-reaching weapons and equipment he added. He also underlined the need to use artificial intelligence AI, in developing ground forces weapons and equipment, saying that utilizing AI in potential operations can boost the efficacy of weapons. Iranian military experts and engineers have in recent years made remarkable breakthroughs in manufacturing a broad range of indigenous equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient. In addition, Iran has Alma's anti-armor missile is an Iranian air-to-surface, air-launched, and surface-to-surface, ground-launch, missile, which is produced in three variants Alma's 1, Alma's 2 and Alma's 3. Alma's missile was seen for the first time in spring 2020 during the mass delivery of UAVs to the Islamic Republic of Iran Army and was officially unveiled and fired by the Ababal 3 UAV during the Army's UAV exercise in the following January. After the unveiling of the Almaz missile and its similarity with the Israeli Spike missile, the attention of many military experts was drawn to this missile. Some experts believe that after the 2006 israel Hezbollah war, a number of spike missiles fell into the hands of resistance fighters, and these missiles were transferred to Iran, and Iranian experts reverse-engineered this missile and produced the Almaz family of missiles. Alma's family missiles use a tandem charge high explosive anti-tank, heat, or thermobaric warhead. The Alma's warhead is located just behind the camera at the tip of the missile. Alma's missile guidance system is based on image infrared homing, IR, and electro-optical sensors. The Alma's missile is a top attack missile and hits the weakest point in the armor from above and damages them. This greatly increases the efficiency of this missile. In addition, the Alma's missile has a fire and forget capability. This helps in reducing the damage to the missile crew. Due to the increase in defense technologies in modern battle tanks and the development of various active defense systems to deal with anti-tank missiles, the destruction of tanks has become more difficult. Israel is also a leader in this field with Trophy Active Protection System. By installing the Trophy Active Protection System on its most important tank, the Merkava Mark IV, Israel has made it difficult to destroy this tank with an anti-tank missile.